Farida, good morning. It's Sarah here uh, from Cardigan. Not so sunny Cardigan today, but not too bad. I'm going to start with a little bit of a warm up. We've got one warm up recorded already, but uh, you know, sometimes it gets a bit boring doing the same old thing. So I'm going to be doing a warm up, which should be around 10 minutes. So we're going to start. Da -da -da -da. I've got a chair here just in case I need it for balance. And I'm going to start just with a little bit of a walk on the spot. Just make sure you can see my head. Although some would say, my children particularly, that that would be better. <laughs> All right, not funny, I know, not funny, not funny. So, we're just going to take those feet hip width apart. We're going to stand really nice and tall. Just be aware if we tend to do that a little bit. So we're just going to tighten these bottoms a little bit, lift the chest, really lengthen through that spine. Beautiful. And then we're going to take that little shoulder shrug up and slide those shoulders down. That's it. So quite often we tend to skip the warm up and just go straight into the main section. So I'm here just to encourage you to try not to do that because it's where we tend to get injured. It's where we tend to get injured, going a little bit too fast too soon. So if we can ease into it, it also makes the main section a lot better, if that makes sense. You're ready for it. So we're just lifting those knees up a little bit higher and then we're gonna bring those feet back hip width apart. This time we're gonna take a gentle knee bend and then we're gonna straighten those legs, come up into that shoulder roll. Good. That's it, so just really getting a nice bit of movement in those shoulders, not overdoing it. It's all about easing into your range of movement and then we're gonna stand nice and tall. We can take those feet a little bit wider apart if we like. Remember, squeeze that bottom slightly, lift that chest. We're gonna take that warm up for the lower back. Good, so we're just lifting the rib cage out of those hips and we come back up here See if you can really lengthen and imagine that I've got you squished between two plates of glass. So you can't lean forwards, you can't lean backwards, it's only sideways you can go. And notice we're not lifting, we're not reaching with these arms, it's all about this area here. So listen into that lower back, listen into the muscles that surround it and just go with how it feels rather than where you think you should be. And then we'll walk it out again. Oh, beautiful. So we've got nice relaxed shoulders. We're getting those elbows moving forwards and backwards. And we're just lifting one foot at a time. And then we'll change that movement. So we'll just start taking some little taps behind us. We're just gonna squeeze this bottom muscle. So keep that chest lifted. Try not to overextend this leg. If you pretty suffer, <laughs> if you suffer with things like sciatica, okay? Because what we want to avoid doing is throwing that back out, so pushing the belly forwards. So see if you can keep to using these bottom muscles, keep the steps quite small. And then we're going to bring it in. We're going to just take those little pedals. So I'm going to show you from a sideways view. I'm just getting these ankles moving, getting these ankles moving. Especially now summer's here, so we may start to, to be wearing slightly lighter footwear which don't, don't have so much ankle support. So we really need to get these ankles moving, get the calf muscles moving. Excellent. And then we're going to bring it back. We're going to again find that nice stable position. We're going to keep that chest lifted, keep that bottom in, and we're going to bring these hands just underneath the chest now. Imagine you've got headlights on your hip bones and they're shining on that wall in front of you. So as we gently twist, this isn't moving at all. And then we're gonna come back to center. So as we gently twist, those headlights are still shining on me. Good, let's see if we can just move from the waist rather than from here. So we want a little bit of movement here. Now this part of your spine is attached to your ribs. So there's not gonna be a huge amount of movement. So don't panic if you're not going anywhere, but it's a really useful movement to practice. And then we're gonna bring it in. We're gonna go back to that walk on the spot. 
and then we'll just see if we can gently look over the shoulder one way, come back to centre, look over the shoulder the other way, come back to centre. And again, you're listening to that head and neck. Keep the shoulders as relaxed as you can. Let's do that again, nice and slowly. If you suffer from dizziness, just make sure we do two or three on one side and then two or three on the other side rather than alternate sides and maybe do it holding onto the chair and not with that feet moving, okay? All right, let's take it back to that walk on the spot. We're gonna take those feet a little bit wider. We're gonna come back to hip width apart and then we're gonna stay the feet. We're gonna take some little heel digs in front of you. Good, now, some of you may feel comfortable starting to add a little bit of a bicep curl, okay? You may just wanna focus on the heel taps. We're just drawing that toe up to the ceiling. Then we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna push that toe down towards the floor. I'm gonna step back a little bit, good. And then we're gonna take it out to the side. Take it out to the side. So if you wanted to bicep curl, you could but just watch that breathing. We don't want to go into it too hard, too fast. So on that scale of one to 10 of effort, the warm up should be around a two, then maybe a three, then maybe at the end a four, possibly a five, but more like three or four. Good, and then we're gonna see if we can just take those little squeezes behind us again. Little squeeze behind, keeping that chest lifted. We're gonna go four, three, two, and one. Now, let's see if we can start to bend those knees. Now, notice I'm not doing this sort of movement, not doing that sort of movement. So it might be that you have to keep the range a little bit smaller. We're just squeezing the heels towards the bottom. Now, I can add that bicep curl, or I can focus on just making sure this knee joint is nicely warmed up. We're gonna bring it down. Let's just walk it out a little bit. Let's think about this upper body now. So we're gonna see if we can start taking a chest press. Keeping the feet gently moving if you can, or we're gonna take a chest press, then move the feet. Chest press. So if we are struggling with the knee joints or the hip joints, let's do a little bit of arm movement just make sure we move the feet in between and then we're going to relax those arms down. We're just going to take that little pedal again and we're going to see if we can make some circles with these elbows. Circles with these elbows, good. And as we circle, we just gradually increase the range, gradually increase the range and then we're going to relax it down. We're going to walk the feet a little bit wider we're going to see, ooh, I might need to get back a little bit, we're going to see, oh you still can't see my hand, if we can reach. And as we come down, we're going to take a little knee bend, if you're feeling slightly unbalanced, make the feet a little bit wider, otherwise just find that comfortable position, good. And a little reach, so we're still making sure that we don't push your blood pressure up, we're keeping a little bit of leg movement there. And then we're going to bring it down. Let's just shake those arms out, shake those legs out a little bit. While we're there, let's see if we can just circle the ankle one way, circle the other way. Notice I've got my chair here, but if you've got balance, is good. You know, you don't have to use the chair. Circle that ankle one way and the other way. Now, we're just going to see if we can take those little taps behind us and bring it in. Tap behind, notice I'm just starting to gently press my heel towards the floor. And what I'm gonna do now is just leave that foot there. Remember that heel's at six o'clock, the big toe's at 12. Then we're gonna bring it in. Just a pre-exercise stretch for those calf muscles. And we're gonna bring it in. And then we're gonna just see if we can take that punch forwards. Yes, let's punch down. Let's see if we can punch forwards. Let's see if we can punch up. Let's see if we can punch forwards. Let's see if we can punch down now to the side. Just watch out for the curtains. Watch out for the lanterns. Watch out for anyone who might be hanging around you. And then just relax those arms. Let's come back to those heel digs. Good, just let those arms swing a little bit. And then 
And while we're taking these little taps, let's just see if we can take one arm onto the opposite shoulder, give yourself a little hug and release. Let's do the same on the other side. Give yourself a little hug. And then we're just gonna slow this tapping down. We're gonna take one foot in front of the other. And again, it's like a pre-exercise stretch. We're just taking those muscles to your full range, bringing it up. We'll do the same on the other side. So let's just sink down. We're holding this, not a massive stretch, just, just take yourself to your full range and then bring it up. Lovely. Now, you're looking fantastic. Just watch out for this one, so take it slowly. We're just gonna see if we can take those arms out. We're gonna flex the palms of the hands. We're gonna bring it back down. I'll come a little bit closer for that bit of it. So we're gonna take the arms out, just flex through the palms of the hands, bring it down. Now we're moving our feet. We're gonna see if we can reach over the head, breathe in and breathe out. So if we do it nice and slowly, even if we hit something, <laughs> it's going to be okay. Breathe out. Good. Really draw those shoulder blades down the back towards the bottom. We're going to breathe in. Now, we're going to see if we can bring these hands behind us and just see if you can touch those fingertips or just draw those fingertips together. Now look what I'm doing. Draw that tummy in. So we're stretching out those chest muscles and then we'll shake it out. I'm laughing. I've just realized I've got a bit of slime. I've been helping my sons make uh, homemade slime. Whatever that is, I don't know, but it makes a bit of a mess. <laughs> so let's just see if we can just take these arms out to the side. Yeah, 10 washes later and uh, there's still slime everywhere. Good. So we're just taking these little taps out to the side. We're going to see if we can tap forwards. Good. Let's see if we can tap back. Excellent work. So we're almost at the end of this warm up. We're just going to take another couple of taps back. Then we're just going to hold it there. We're going to see if we can hold on to something. And we're just going to see if we can squeeze this heel towards the bottom. You may be able to take it there and release. To be honest with you, with this pre-exercise stretch, we're really just taking the front of these thighs to the full range, so don't worry too much about getting into position. We're going to give ourselves a big pat on the back for doing the warm-up. We're going to give ourselves a nice big pat on the back for doing the warm-up. We're going to take it into some knee lifts. Excellent. We're going to just see if we can take that opposite hand, opposite knee, Lovely, we're gonna go four, three, two, and one. We're gonna just see if we can take these little hamstring curls. We can just draw those shoulder blades together. Just show you from a different angle. We're gonna go four, three, two, and one. And then we're just gonna see if we can lift the heels together, bring you back, good. So we're just gonna squeeze and down. We're gonna squeeze and down, one more if we can, up, and we're just gonna slowly lower down. We're gonna walk it out, we're gonna take the feet about hip width apart, we've got something here if we need it, and we're gonna take some little mini squats. So I'm taking my weight into my heels, straightening up. Down, good, good. Notice we're not pushing those knees forwards. Keep the heels glued to the floor. It's a little bit like you're looking for a chair. So if you're not sure about this one, remember we can always use a dining chair. So we can either start from this position with the heels underneath the knees and we can come up and we can look for that chair as we come down, okay? Or we can just use it as a little bit of security when we're doing our squats. Good. All right, let's see if we can bring it back. We are ready for our main section. Ta-da! Well done, everyone. Great to warm up with you. Just keep those feet moving. 
have a sip of water if you need it and what I would recommend is getting some really good music something that makes you tick so that you'll really enjoy this main section don't forget to cool down after that bye bye